Hey guys, so this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to the main account. We are playing Elise, uh, an old Huzzy pick. Um, Elise is pretty good against Skarna, obviously, because of her E, and he mainly just runs in a straight line. Comp wise, I will say I probably prefer the enemy team, though. Even though they have a Skarna, we have a Quinn, and Quinn sucks. So, pretty much every single time Quinn is locked in, it instantly makes your team. If you have a Quinn, it makes your comp worse than the enemy team. So hopefully we'll be all right. Nonetheless, we can definitely win, but by the comp, it just I think the Quinn needs to not feed, and I think the the rise has to not get fed. Those are like the two things that I think has to happen. Quinn can't feed, and rise can't get fed. That uh, and hell, even Camille. If Camille gets fed from the Quinn, we're in trouble. But we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping I can snowball a bit early. Again, that name, by the way, who cares? To be honest. That is the type of snub summoner name that instantly makes me think I'm going to camp that player. And I know to some people they might be like, hmm. Summoner names do give away a little bit about personality. And if they have a, a name like that, it could be an alt account. It could be something. They could be a toxic player. It could be a, a more, hell, it could be even like a casual higher rank player. Or it could just be someone that's going to give up easily. So it does make you think about it. It's why I wouldn't have a, na a summoner name like that. It, in my, it, to a lot of players, I think it does put a target on your back. Don't get hooked. You literally just had to not get hooked. I swear, Quinn players, like, again, there's a reason why I said I just need the Quinn to not feed, because they all feed. They just all feed. She's the most useless champ in the game. God, Quinn players. I'm going to be late to this blue now. Watch them dance. Yeah, the, the reason I literally said loading into the game, I just need this Quinn to not feed is because expectations are they're going to feed. It's what they do. You just don't see good Quinns. And that's the thing, it might, the, most of the players aren't bad. Well, well, that was the player's fault, not the champions. But... The champion just sucks in modern day league. So Skarna, I imagine, even though that he technically shouldn't have better wave player than me, he might because he gets to use his spires. I wonder if he's going to come steal my red because he's got the spire. He might. That would be bad for me. And I have no idea if he's doing it now. Your favor the Fizz is going to get giga fed. Okay. I don't even know if Fizz Rise is technically a good matchup because like... Rise gets a lot of health with Rod of Ages and everything. And Fizz is not very good against health bars. Like high health. There is nothing to fear. No point pinging your jungler before the jungler's done their first clear, my dude. It's just annoying. Wins used ignite and not gotten the kill, which is again. Quite a bad sign. Okay, I'm going to do something here that I don't really want to do. See if it works. Oh, okay. Wow, how little does that do? Oh, 
I was like, I took the kill from him and he used Ignite. It did no damage whatsoever. It does only 40%, 40 damage, sorry. Which is ridiculously low. So yeah, again, I didn't really want to do that gank, but it's worked out. Because again, the reason if you're like, Huzz, it worked out, why would you not want to do that gank? Because if it doesn't work out, it puts you so far behind as a jungler. Why, where's PT? Yeah, I'm not doing press the attack. We we had uh, was it about a week ago that at least that did PTA. Yeah, it's the ultimate like desperate early game for at least you like you have to win early for it to be useful. Got a, what? Flash on Camille. That's weird. I guess maybe she's running flash because. Uh, He's against a Quinn. I know what lurks in the shadows. Wow, that Caitlyn misplayed. <laughs> Don't. Oh my God! Imagine if she died. I don't like this overstay because I think Skarn is just gonna like appear and get a double kill. The fact that he's chasing. Oh. He's going for that? Oh my god, that knock up is huge. Sloppy, but we'll take it. Patience. Has he done these? I presume so. Oh, wait. Not done skull grab. Or is it already dead? And I think it's already died. Because obviously I didn't really go for either skull because I was busy. I was gonna give it to her. You saw me try. Nice lads. Hey, Khalil, dude. Do I know if there's gonna be another honor skin? It would probably not be now. I'd imagine the honor stuff. I don't think honor is resetting, by the way, in this split one, split two. Um. Wait, why is Thresh top? The hell is th what? Tilted. Um. Uh, yeah, I, it'll be at the end of the official season for actual, like, stuff. Because, yeah, to get on a level 5 just for split 1 and then for that to reset, I think that's near impossible for the average person. Like, I played a decent amount of League and I'm honourable, you could say. Again, you, you basically get on a level 5 if you just don't type. And I'm not on a level 5 yet. And like you do see the occasional on a level five, but they're really rare. There's not many people that are on a level five at the moment. Uh, Lushly, sixty-five months of prime. Thanks so much, my dude. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's a very tempting rise kill for me right now. Okay. The hell is all... Oh, she's doing the bad Caitlyn build. Beauty is 
I'm taking him back to your lair there, Skarner, bud. My bad. This would have lived if I hit that. <clears throat> my bad, my bad. He does so much damage. Again, that's a late game hyper carry champion. That's crazy damage. Oh! That was close. <laughs> that was actually quite close. Ooh. Go on, Quinn. Get the rise. Ah, Thresh is randomly mid lane. And you, Spiderlings. Dude, I'm nearly dead. I don't think I can stop the... Oh, if this comes, we can't. Okay, the room worked. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, wait, don't go in yet. I'm coming. Oh, the prediction! Oh, okay. I did take that one. I'm sorry. That prediction was sick. I get a skull grab. Oh, hello. You really wanted that ward. Like, I'm going to be honest. I don't think the ward was worth it. He's taking him back to the lair. Any on moon. Skarna, I'm going to be honest. He is such a useless champion. And his rework has been delayed a bunch of times now. Oh. Oh. Oh, poor lad. Excuse me. Oh, snap. Can you kill him, please? I probably should have based a little bit earlier. I was holding a little bit too much gold. Yeah, I, you need to kill him. He killed me. Okay, he's going to end up with a bug. Ah! Oh, Jesus. And yeah, to be fair, was I on shutdown? Eh, I was on a 500 gold shutdown. Giving that to a Thresh is actually better than anyone else on the enemy team. I didn't want to die, but if I was going to give it to anybody, giving it to the support is the best thing you can do. Thresh can't really do anything with it. Oh. Collect the first item. What? Is that a thing? What? Every web oh. You're so squishy with that build. Thank you for doing an awful build. I appreciate it. Triforce Skarna. Right. I was thinking of just going to do Dragon, but... Can I get... Oh, I don't even know if I can get the... Uh, I was like, could I get there in time? No. I don't know why Rakan stayed around, I'm going to be honest. I wouldn't go Triforce on Scarlet. The champ does no damage. I'd just go pure tanky. 
I think you do way more. I missed it. Oh. No. Yeah, it's just such a bad Caitlyn build. It's just really easy to mess around with. And she should be dead now. I wonder if I get... Do I get an assist off that? I don't think so. Alright, I need to do some jungling. Need to do some jing jangle. rise again it's the third or second rise we've had today they're all playing like crazy aggro like they're insanely fed 24 7 bomba no. Get out of my jungle. What are you doing? Get out of my swamp. This is my swamp. This thresher also is like crazy aggro when he should be like backing away. Oh. Hi. What the hell? She was waiting on the corner. She was. Oh, she was waiting for someone to step on the trap. That's what she was doing. She was either typing or she was just waiting for someone to step on a trap. And this build, I've seen it a bunch of times and I basically have never seen it do well. It seems like, unless you get incredibly fed, it looks awful. Yeah, I'm holding a lot of gold again. Supposed to be doing jungle clear. Well, it's basically, it's a snowball build. If you can get an early cheap kill with collector, you can like snowball basically. But it really is bad if you don't snowball. I'd say it's probably good. Dare I say that build is good if you're like smurfing up the ranks on Caitlyn that build makes sense but if this player is not a smurf and they're actually like a diamond one or whatever player yeah this is an awful build wait he didn't spawn it over lol they wasted rift herald <laughs> they wasted rift herald that's funny it's magi time baby thresh is top What's the desperation? I like this is crazy. Pull the strings. Watch them dance. Dude, you're so weak. Go away. <laughs> like, what are you gonna do? Bonga. Ooh.
What? He didn't move. I expected him to move. Jinx should just buy a QSS, by the way. Jinx is, in theory, Skarda's main target. So just buy the QSS early, and then he's completely useless. Yeah, Thresh keeps KSing, though. It's really weird. Oh, I'm on my way. Oh, huge. What? He was in a 500 gold shutdown? Why was that? That, that fight was hard. Oh, Fizz is zero mana. Yeah, he's a dead Fizz. I don't like this. I don't like this. Yeah, I, I, we, he smited it. I don't like it. Camille's below us at full health, just base. I think that was an easy, we might have died if we continued there. Oh, saved you. That Camille is doing some odd, odd plays. is so useless this game is not free just mainly because we don't really have a top laner so we're gonna keep the uh keep the pressure going i'd imagine they might try to go top and kill the fizz yeah, the Rakan seems pretty good. Okay, how many people are here? Why oh, this guy's so tanky? Oh, he has a Negatron. Oh, I might... I changed my build. I was thinking of going shadow thingy, which wouldn't be bad. Just wait. Just wait. All right, go in now. Oh, wait, I don't have smite. I just used it. Mm. A team coming, Baron? I don't think we can do it without smite. It's too risky. That was Jinx's first death. Get Shadow Flame. Do I go? If I'm really fed like I am, I can go Death Cap. But like, is that even effective? Or should I just go like Void for Pen? I 
this coin is so useless. Again, as I said, it's it's not a free game, this, because we don't act... It's basically a 4v5. We're really not going to get much anything from her. So I'm not talking much, I'm actually try-harding a bit. Me and my Twitch audience spoke about in an upcoming con like stream, I might basically kind of play the way that I am now. I basically am just full try-harding. Um, still stream and stuff, but just don't really commentate. And uh, it makes it a lot easier because I get just a. I get to concentrate fully. Which is something that I normally don't really do. like half of their health I'm not sure what's going on I think I go death eh, what we got what we got what we got there's quite a lot of thing though there's quite a lot of MR being built. More Malmortius, Mercs, Turbo. Yeah, I think it's both. Both is fine. I'm not even being a big goblin this game. I'm holding a lot of gold. It's more because I'm getting so much gold quite often. Yeah, nearly 500 AP on the lease is pretty nice. Yeah, Lise was a carry of mine, like a main jungle carry god, a long time ago. Again, once you get off the bike, it's easier to get back on it. It does no damage. Wow. Yeah. They get all of his. Sh oh God! How many of these do they have?
But yeah, we lost the last game we just played because we had a Yasso one trick who refused the group. Literally, is the only reason we lost. It was crazy. You're brave. Wow, her damage is so low. That minion literally just walked in front of me. Come on, Quinn. That's Rise ult. Ooh -hoo -hoo. Go away, Skana, man. Oh, Skana. Oh, Skana. What are you going to do, Skana? Oh, you ended up ulting a Rakan. <laughs> Nom. Hopefully he gets a... Hopefully he gets a good uh, rework. Because Skana is just not great. Well, that's how you demolish a game on the lease. We took over. And again, that was hard because we had a Quinn. If we had a proper top laner, this game, I think the enemy team probably would have surrendered earlier. But they probably may be holding on to the fact that, oh, they've got a Quinn. Camille should. And again, this is the thing. Camille should have. And this is a game that I would have said an advocate for split pushing. Because we realistically wouldn't have had anything really to stop a good Camille split pushing. I can't. I fall off. Qu Quinn can't. This would have been a game, a perfect example, where if Camille did well, bought him a hull breaker, it would did, it would have been amazing for the enemy team. See you later, Mox. Um, but yeah, so we only gained 20, which sucks. We just lost, obviously, that game that we should have won, and we lost 28. Oh, these LP gains suck. Uh, that's the biggest thing that I said. I, I hope in the split one to split two change the LP gains just get better because, oh my god, it's been so rough. But anyway, we went 15, 1, 7, 30 and a half thousand damage compared to Skana's 8 point, wait, well, 8 and a half. So that was a bit of a demolishing in the jungle. Uh, we got honored by the Fizz and the Quinn. My bot lane didn't honor me at all. Okay. Uh, bringing up the old stats as well. Bonk. He doesn't even play Skarna. Why would you randomly pick that? He's auto-filled AD carry player, randomly playing Skarna. So again, they're a duo. The Skarna and the Thresher duo support main AD carry main. So they probably asked this person, can they swap? And the person said no. Plays a decent amount of Rise. Doesn't play too much Camille. Uh, doesn't play again a lot of Quinn. Um, has a negative win rate on Fizz, and again, a bit odd to see, obviously, Platinum's duoing and stuff, but maybe they're just trying to get Diamond before the end of a season on accounts they don't play that much of. Well, I say that, never mind. Five, 530 games, 180. Why are they in a Diamond 1 game? Maybe they decayed? Maybe they stopped playing on those accounts? That, that to me, is the only way that these players could be in a Diamond 1 game, because they're not Smurfs. Well, level 95 is low, but that account was Diamond th 3 last year. Yeah, Diamond 3, Diamond 3, Diamond 3. This was a, definitely a bit of a lower ranking game, so that's maybe also why we completely took over. But uh, yeah, really good game of Elise. Um, an old main of mine. And yeah, when you snowball in this champion, it's absolutely wonderful. Uh, if you guys didn't... Wait, was what was he building? Was he building a Sterex or was he building a Hull Breaker? I'm confused. But anyway, that's going to be it. If you guys did enjoy, do throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Call down.